So what is going on everybody? My name is Mehul and welcome to your 16th Angular tutorial in which we're gonna learn about what router link and router link active directives are in Angular and how you can use them in your routes, right? So router link is pretty much going from one route to another. Uh, let's just say um, for my dashboard or what we have in here for the hello world which is the home module home route we create a list of hrefs right which the first one says dashboard and for the dashboard we create a href back which just goes to home right if you save that and just go ahead you see that that pretty much works but that is not a very angular way of doing stuff right you cannot make use of variables in here and actually it's a bad practice as well so instead of doing href what we're going to make use of is the router link which is provided by angular to work with internal system routes now remember that you cannot use router link to link to external websites for that you have to make use of href your old friend but for internal system routes you can make use of router link and again we do not need these square brackets right now because we are not passing in any variable so you can just make use of that square brackets if you are referring to any uh, variable and uh, we are getting this error because Oh, nothing I don't know so we go to dashboard we go to home you can see that it's pretty smooth as well because angular is not really reloading the page which it was doing with href right so href is the wrong way to do internal routing with angular now with router link we also have router link active which is just the angular way of uh, letting you know that the user is in fact on this page right so what we can do in order to create that is uh, first of all create some routes which we can from our app component app module rather and uh, let's just create one more route and let's just say this is a um, login page let's just say and this is login component now let's just save it and uh, we can go back to our command line you can say ng generate component login which creates a login component for us and you can see everything is important and should be running fine but uh, looks like we just had a typo in here and there you go so now we have the login route set up as well so let's just place some links in all these three and uh, let's just go ahead and say this is uh, home dashboard and login and what we can include now is something like router link active which gets a class name so let's just give it active right and i'm just gonna go ahead and paste this again and again you can make use of square brackets with this if you have any dynamic sort of thing going on and then finally what we can do is go ahead and paste the same thing in dashboard component and login component as well now i'm gonna go back to style.css right here because this this style sheet is global actually and uh, everything you do right in login component.css or home component.css would not be global right it would be restricted to that particular component only so to add any global styles like I have right now which is this form family scalibri and some sort of manual resetting you have to go to the style.css file to add global styles so i'm just gonna say this is color black for now text decoration text decoration none and uh, let's just say font size is 20 pixels and why not let's just say display block 
you can see that we get these three links and I guess or we didn't change the text okay so this should be home and there's nothing like home login right so now if we go ahead and pretty much paste this right so now if you see inside your inspector you would see that the class active class active is applied on this a tag but not on these two right they, they do not have the class active with them so to make it a little more visible what we can do is say a dot active is color red and it's safe you can see that home it becomes red and we are on home if i click on dashboard you can see this dashboard becomes red and so does this home now why does this happen well this happens because your router link active pretty much matches whenever your url matches this slash now this isn't actually exact matching so right now if you see this url for the home only it matches the slash but for dashboard for dashboard it still matches the url right for the home so if i click on login you can see that the dashboard one is gone but the home still remains so to fix that or actually to make it more intuitive what you can do is you can include something known as route link or rather just on this here so we can say router link active options and we can make this say exact is true right so what this would do is again we need to make use of these square brackets now because we are writing an expression in here so what this would do is pretty much just match this route only if it exactly matches it right so we can just do the similar thing on all the routes because we just have the same thing right now right so now you can see that dashboard glows when i click on dashboard home glows when i click on home and home does not glow back when i click on dashboard right so exact true actually and we actually need exact true only for this route because this is a bit ambiguous right so if you were having something like uh, slash dashboard slash abc then this dashboard route would be active as well for slash dashboard slash abc right so <clears throat> it kind of makes more sense if you have another route right like uh, if you have a page like abc def ghi so <clears throat> the router link active would apply this active class to abc def and ghi all three routes right so that kind of makes sense to do if you are on a page like that but for just a raw page it would pretty much <clears throat> apply this style active class on every route right so again we can just fix that by passing a router link active options exact is true so yeah that is pretty much how routes work and uh, router link active works in a nutshell so yeah that's all for this one and if you liked it then please don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one